Hi there all, so today's video is about how to do the trailer wiring harness uh, for an 80 series Land Cruiser. So I'm dealing with a 93 Sahara at the moment and as you can see here I'm probably I'm actually looking in the um, in the tail lights compartment on the back end here, back left section and usually this would be an area to tap into for your tail lights, brake lights, indicators, etc. And um, I couldn't find any parts out there that would tap into these particular connections down here in these harnesses. I did come across a website that had from Matrix um, here in Queensland that had a, um, a harness that was pre-made specifically for an 80 series. And when I first looked at it, I thought, well, how on earth do these bits here control the uh, necessary parts of the trailer connection. You can actually see most of them are two three pin sockets. And I thought this can't be right. And there's the other, other part here. So and of course we've got a seven pin flat bit to wire up later. Anyway so what I did find however when I got underneath the cruiser which I'm just about to do get out and have a look torch on if you get underneath the spare wheel well, you'll notice up here a loom and the loom runs from left to right and there are a couple of plugs associated with that. Now I've unplugged them so you can see, actually it's a bit of light on it, so it's pretty dark under here, there we go. That actually fits one of the um, plugs and you'll see those two which I've just unplugged, same deal got the two pins which match the system I've just got from Matrix Auto. So I'm going to plug these in and um, see if I can tap into the light source for that and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay we're back. Um, as you can see we've got um, part of the loom ready to go. I'm just going to slip back under and show you how I went about doing this. And As you can see we've got the spare wheel right there and straight up, straight up there we go. We've got our plugs now they plug directly in they uh, they match plug for plug that's stock standard straight out of the factory I haven't done any adjustments to this loom underneath the car and uh, all three plugs as you can see there's three three whites all three of them match perfectly and uh, now we're about to test and see if we've got any current otherwise this is going to be wasted effort and we're going to have to do some splicing or find another way uh, remembering we've also got a white earth cable now I've just stuck that on to the end of a bolt for now for a bit of earthing to test but I'm going to find a better spot to to nestle that one in for good uh, we're going to need to earth out that signal and um, we'll see how we go so give us one sec okay so now we're going to run a test uh, just to test our current and see if we've got some signals working otherwise yeah we're going to have a bit of fun trying to splice these in and make them work so uh, I've got myself here a uh, voltmeter to check the current. Uh, I've obviously got my loom plugged in ready to go. Um, and of course I've got uh, instructions here on which color does which. So as we can see here, we've got the left indicator yellow, which we'll be checking the earth, which is the white cable. Right indicator is green. Electric brakes, which we don't worry about for this instance. Um, stop light is red. And tail lights, of course, which is another important one, brown. So just what we need to really do here is get your voltmeter out and just test the current and make sure that each one is working. Now I've just put my hazards on, I probably can't see that from there, and I've also got my lights, uh, my lamps on at the moment, that way I can test two at the same time without having to get up and turn various parts on. Of course I'll need someone else here to help me push the brake pedal in to test the brakes, but you get the picture. Alright. Okay. Sorry about the angle here, I'm just going to put the voltmeter there so you can see it and as I was saying before we're just going to do a bit of a test and see which is which. So we'll start with the left indicator which we know is the yellow, the yellow lead as you can see here. So once I turn my voltmeter on all I'm really needing to do is put my positive to there, I'm just going to use the chassis as an earth. And there we go, we're getting voltage. Okay, so I know there's a current coming through. While we're at it, we're gonna check the right indicator. As we know, we've got our hazard lights on, so both should be operating. And our right indicator is the green. So we'll do the same thing in that. Find a decent earth. 
And there we go, jumping up volts. So we know we've got power. And we've also got our lamps on, of course, which is probably one of the most important ones for night time. Um, we're going to do is brown. And voila, we have voltage. So our three most important ones are working for now. Now I'm going to get some help to do the brakes, but you get the picture. Hopefully this helps. I'll just show you how I finalise putting this one in. Okay, so final part to here is actually getting your plug to connect up with the loom wires themselves. Now it's pretty straightforward. Those wires will be going through there and into this mechanism. Now the one that's been supplied to us by the Matrix uh, Auto Parts um, is pretty straightforward. You unscrew this little piece here. Apologies guys, I don't have a selfie stick here, but um, I'm sure you get it. And uh, this little sucker comes off. There we go. Take that little part off and you'll see that all those things there correspond to certain wires. Now you'll even be able to read on there, it's even going to tell you which ones match up to which. So all you need to do is feed those wires, push them into there, and screw them down tight. Simple as that and then find a place to mount it under your vehicle here. Uh, some people will have a designated area which maybe an old plug was mounted, otherwise you're gonna to have to find a way to fixate it to where you want it to be, somewhere probably between the exhaust and your tow hitch here somewhere. All right, well, hopefully this helps anybody else out there trying to fit a wiring harness to their 80 series Land Cruiser.